Hey guys welcome back to another video in today's particular video we are going to discuss about smart india hackathon i participated me and my team are participated in this hackathon this year this is my first hackathon i mean first smart india hackathon not a first hackathon so what is my experience and how i prepare how i prepare my ppt how i deliver my presentation like there is called term called internal hackathon which organized in our colleges and then few teams are selected uh, in the internal hackathon round and then the teams are finalized for the further processes so this is the basic uh, structure of the hackathon you can definitely visit the smart india hackathon website and you can definitely see that the structure of the uh, program and dates and also more of information so first of all just i want to give a summary that what is great india uh, smart india hackathon so first of all there is a theme and there is a problem state which uh, government provide us like smart india hackathon is the provided by government so uh, conducted by the government so they can provide us the problem statement and what are the problem statement there are multiple types of you can definitely uh, watch on the websites so there are many 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 problem statements regarding various ministry various uh, states various culture and many more so uh, and in theme area there are particular themes like culture and heritage theme travel and tourism theme and we made the uh, our project in the travels and tourism theme so there are many various 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 like 400 and 500 problem statements are available on the website and you can pick any any of any one of them okay so after you picking it uh, i guess uh, i i guess if you are watching this video you are definitely want to pick up some project that may be selected or may be finalized for the further processes so i will recommend you that select any project whichever you want to select any idea the problem statement is not so important to just participate or just qualify in the internal hackathon round because there are some things like ppt when you prepare the ppt there are few things that you have to include in your project rather than uh, thinking about what is my problem statement like if your problem statement is not that efficient uh compared to the other problem statement but if your ppt is showing the depth or ppt is correct according to their structure then your problem statement will be selected so this is the uh, way to clear the hackathon and i am not telling you that use the chip tricks to win this uh, race because at the end of the day who deserve the win who can win so first of all if you want to prepare a ppt or just go previously if you want to find a problem statement sit with your team how to find a team what to what includes in your team so first of all if you are in a tier 3 colleges or tier 2 colleges or in any colleges you didn't find a perfect team it's not a one piece or it's not a money heist that you <laughs> definitely find a perfect true member for each and every role it's not going to happen it's it's happen in your imagination but it's not <laughs> going to happen in your reality so definitely if you are a coder of your team or if you are a leader of the team just like me i am i am the leader of my team and this leader term is not a very uh, cliche uh, definitely everyone has the equal right to tell anyone or leave leave the team okay so if you are a team leader or if you are thinking that forming a team that few things you have to understand so first of all there is a condition that only six member has participated in one group and one of them is a girl so five boys and one girls or uh, any other uh, format just one girl at least included so in this particular platform you have to find the perfect uh, perfect members so there is nothing called perfect member or no uh, no one is the best team you just have to understand that pick the pick only smart people they if they don't know technology it's fine if they don't know anything about the project it's fine but they have the ability to understand the process they are smart enough to tell you that what is right and what is wrong if you are taking any decision they are stand with you this is the only important in my team my team me and my few friends are only good at coding and only good at project stuff but other members are not so uh, not so efficient to uh, give any contribution but their presence or their smart uh, smartly move to manage the team or uh, to just tell you tell us that what is wrong what i am thinking their their perspective is also helping us so it's not about the always coding part helps us it's all about the perspective that if someone hears our project and what they can think after hearing us so this is the particular smart work can help us to form our team and no one is perfect no one is poor i am not a perfect no one, how can i expect my team member is perfect if i am not a perfect so this is the very basic thing that you have to consider it ki just have a smart people in your group and if you are asking me can i take my friend as my team member yes definitely because this is the long term game if you are selected in your college you have to make a project and you have to do various things so if you are comfortable with any of your friend which in the process and they understand you how you understand them then it is very good unknown members are uh, quietly uh, like 
irritate or annoy by your decision making ability because we all are learning and this is all our first time so you have to pick up members who are smart enough and humble enough that they can understand you okay so team is formed and now how to pick up problem statement so first of all if you are going to the website just scroll or the problem statement i don't tell you that ki scroll every problem statement and understand every problem statement but think about that what you have to build or just think about that what you are able to build like i am a web developer in my team there is no one uh, developer they are all are machine learning like machine learning presentation there are all other categories but i am a developer of this team so i am the, it is my duty to make a project so i just uh, so it's my duty to tell all the members that find the problem statement who are regarding to the development like web development not android development or anything so this is my duty to tell that this is my uh, strength so first of all before forming a uh, before finding the problem statement understand the strength of the team how how your what is your strength our team strength is web development so we can find the problem statement regarding to the web development not any blockchain or anything there are multiple problem statement into the blockchain and all but if your strength in it then it, uh, just go in in that problem statement and for the ideas or themes there are multiple themes are available me and my friends suggest the travel and tourism field where we can make a platform for the hidden places or hidden gems so i don't know if that my project is selected or not but at least we are think on this project and work on it so in uh, in this video i am going to tell you in this video particular video you will see that i am giving the presentation of uh, internal hackathon yes yesterday i just gave a presentation of in internal hackathon and we present and we present our idea uh, uh, from and we present our idea in front of everyone like there are 50 60 student and this is my first time giving presentation and my friend said i am quite good at it because i don't know i know okay uh, i'm making youtube videos uh, that's why i have few confidence that how to speak in front of uh, someone so uh, that's uh, but that's a hard part for me i am also very nervous and you are uh, if you are giving the internal hackathon presentation you all are going to nervous but it's okay this is the process this is the right time to sh- mold your feelings this the right time to mold your emotions and all concentration which you want to which you want to gather while speaking so this is the best opportunity for you for learning because in the end of the day while you are going uh, four or five years uh, if you are uh, at the point that you have to give speeches you have to uh, conduct a seminar talks that definitely you need to this experience you definitely need the experience the winning or losing is not important it's a win win situation it's a win win game it's not a zero sum game it's a positive sum game so if you are fail in the hackathon don't worry you will learn the experience of presentation and all team building and team management and all so i also learning experience and i am telling you that same so after picking a problem statement just talk with your teams and uh, arrange the problem statement in the way that they are like business startup like if your problem statement solving any issue then just form a business model like if you are if your problem is business centric or startup centric now then the then the chances is increases because all the judges and all the members are wanting that your idea is or your idea is structured centric like if you have any structure or model to execute the idea like execution is important idea I, there are multiple idea there are judges also have tons of ideas but the execution how you can do it how your business how your startup can do it this is very important that's why forming a structuring the idea you have to think about the startup or business centric approach so conduct few meetings on the online meetings or just and discuss about it and if you want my ppt that how i, I made my ppt so my ppt link is in the description you can definitely watch it and tell me that how is my ppt and first of all you don't have to change any theme or any structure in this ppt given by the uh, government side so don't make your own ppt just change the data in the given ppt so i can provide the link in the description so you can definitely watch it and change it so after making ppt you are ready for the internal hackathon presentation so first of all in hackathon in this hackathon internal hackathon you don't need to make a project you don't need to bring a project if you are selected in the internal hackathon or uh, is selected in the other areas in your city or anything and then you go in the upper rounds then you have to uh, make a project like before you don't have to make a project okay so first of all if you are ready for the internal hackathon just make a presentation good like your first step is to make the presentation if your presentation is good your idea like it doesn't matter that you how to present is important not what to present like what to present is important in the further round but in previous round you you have to focus on the presentation part so make your presentation very good that first experience and first tips i want to give you that don't 
गिव द टेक्नोल डोंट गिव द टेक्नोलॉजी हेमरेज टू द जजेस बिकॉज जजेस आर जजेस आर फोर्टी फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड ओके दे दे डिसेंटली नो एवरीथिंग बट दे आर नॉट अपडेटेड विद द थिंग्स लाइक ब्लॉक चेन एंड ऑल इन माई एक्सपीरियंस वेन आई एम गिविंग द टॉक इन द इंटरनल एकेथॉन वन ऑफ द टीम हैज प्रेजेंटेड द ई वॉल्ट ब्लॉक चेन ओके दिस इज दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट एंड समथिंग समथिंग ई वॉल्ट ब्लॉक चेन एंड दिस गाय इज टेलिंग जज दैट वॉट इज ब्लॉक चेन एंड वॉट इज दिस वर्क एंड वॉट इज दिस सो इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट गन वर्क लाइक दैट एंड जजेस आर वेरी बोर्ड जजेस आर नॉट हियर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टेक्नोलॉजी दे आर हियर टू हियर यूर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड हियर यूर सोल्यूशन एंड जस्ट कमेंट ऑन इट दे आर वर्क डोंट मेक देयर वर्क सो हार्ड दैट्स वाई आई वी चेंजेस सम थिंग्स इन और प्रेजेंटेशन यू कैन डेफिनेटली वॉच माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल अटैच द वीडियोज आफ्टर द कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ यू आई अटैच द वीडियो ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई नेवर आई नेवर से द टेक्निकल टर्म्स लाइक आई नेवर से द टेक्निकल टर्म्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई प्रेजेंटेशन स्टार्ट विद द सेंटेंस दैट मी एंड माई फैमिली go on a vacation in goa this is my first statement in front of judges so they they love this because they have to they don't want to ki bahut sochna pad raha hai ki they don't they have to they don't want to think a lot they just you just have to feed the information in your uh, in their brains so first of all don't make the judges bore don't say the technical teams because technical terms because don't bore us bore them because if they if they lost your interest you can definitely lose you are going to lose so that's why i speak from the heart and explain all the terms all the details uh, fluently so when your internal hackathon is going please maintain a calm with your team because the atmosphere is that ki uh, everyone uh, just uh, roaming around and asking you what is your project what is your project so just calm patience and don't hesitate that their problem statement is more good and they than me they are very better they are very very best team because when you enter in the college you don't know what are the teams if you if you don't there are multiple teams that are you don't know so when you watch those teams and watch those that this sixth are the best coder in the school and they are just doing their uh, projects and their problem statement also good how can we selected but it's not about that it's not about that it's all about the presentation like if you present your project very very good very in a very good in a way that doesn't matter that what you are doing and what you are uh, like what you use that sometimes uh, in my in my colleges every student is every student is uh, added the react js in the front end in every project like in every project they add react js in their project but judges also know that no one uh, no one in this team has known the react js and how they can use it so that's why these are few terms or if you don't know anything if you don't know machine learning ai ml but include in your uh, project and include include in your ppt and presentation because that's important if they hear the ai ml stuff in their ears they can relate that the this is the advancement project like it's a new technology project it's not a old project or just old idea it's a new idea because ai ml is a new field so explain them or express them in a new way new uh, and don't bore them by the technical terms so just relax and give your all uh, presentation so after the internal hackathon starting once of october you receive the email or you receive the message from your college that you are selected or not in every college there is a one single point of contact which is the faculty which is responsible for gathering the data and sending the teams to the further processing and this faculty can help fill your uh, form if you are selected for the multiple uh, further round so that's how the process works so watch my presentation here this team so let me introduce sanjit ashutosh paris jayant and pansi we are team four so last year we and my family went on a vacation in goa so when we visit there i searched on google uh, best places in goa so uh, few pages are uh, there so we went on those places and we see that hundreds and more hundreds people are already present on this view so we are not enjoying the vacation with the crowd areas these crowd areas makes no relaxation feeling on the vacations so we set up a cafe the local uh, the local member uh, who are there tells that there is one place few kilometers away from the area so we went on this place and see that there are some places who are yet to discover these are the hidden places who are not uh, visited by the tourists or travelers these places are only known by the locals so these type of places in india are major in the part of tourism and the main problem of the tourism is in india these places are blocked by the uh, local members like local if we have to access those places we have to communicate with locals there is no such platforms who tell us that these are the places that you should visit them so the second thing is when we are going on the vacations there is no there is no need to always go on the amusement parks and all the big places sometimes we just want to go on the 
sunset areas or highways areas, but these places are not the regular or well known places. So how can we access those places? So this is our platform. So here is the prototype of this uh, platform. In this app, we can see that if we search any categories like sunset or highways, we can definitely uh, take the feedback from the user. And what is the speciality of this platform? So there are many multiple platforms in market are already available, like Make My Dream or various other platforms like Google Maps and all. But these platforms are customer centric, not a business centric. Like these all platforms which you can see on the internet are driven by the businesses, not the community or not by the peoples. So this platform can help the people who can want their local areas as a tourist places. So what can we generate from these places? We generate the revenue and employment from these sectors. And tourist uh, sectors in India is very very underrated. Like this is the only way to boost the economy by the tourism sector. So this is our idea and this is our solution. We can target the local area and local audience to this uh, particular tourism sector area. So for this uh, making the platform, we use front-end, back-end and database and with the help of machine learning and uh, uh, artificial intelligence, we can help with the recommendation system. Like uh, if, I, if I visited some place and according to my previous visits, we can definitely see that the recommendations in this particular app. So for the further details about the features of this app and tech stack, I would like to uh, follow the subject. I know after watching this presentation, you saw the various flaws, various mistakes and everything. But it's my first time and it's the very good. Like it's my first time and it's I, I don't think that I could be better of, uh, than that. So hope you like my presentation. Hope you like uh, the hope you understand the what is what I'm saying. Because and first of all, the last message I want to convey with that don't set the expectations don't set expectation because if you set the expectation that we are gonna select and we are gonna wait one lakh rupees by the price and this and that you are not gonna you you wanna disappoint like don't if you don't want to disappoint don't set your expectations me yesterday i told my team that don't expect anything we give you our 100 percent 200 percent but it's not in our hand maybe there is some politics in my college maybe there is some already uh, may, maybe the preference uh, for the fourth year in my college maybe so it's all about maybe it's all about randomness no one is going to show, assure you that you are gonna win and you are gonna not by telling your ppt by telling your presentation no one is uh, going to tell you that you are winning or not it's all about the randomness it's all about their choice so don't expect anything tell your team tell yourself that you don't have to expect anything from it you just have to expect that give your 100 percent take the all experience take the all experience give your best seminar and just work upon it and all the best for your upcoming journey i am here to help you that so subscribe my channel i will give you the informative updates so guys thank you for watching I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.